I'm Dave Mercer. And I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to The Cull, a weekly show that we debate certain topics in the sport of professional bass fishing. This week's topic is Bass Track exec, exact locations. Keep them or cull them, Panger. Well, this is interesting because this is a conversation that we would not have been able to have five years ago, but due to the technological advancements, uh, particularly with what Bassmaster has done, now all of the catches are recorded almost in real time, unless you're Greg Hackney, which might be a totally different conversation to have on this show. But one of the things I noticed over the first couple events of the 2022 season, Dave, was I think Bass Track is getting way too exact with the locations. You have anglers that have spent their entire careers, especially down in Florida, where guys are historically good, the fish historically spot in certain situations, and you do this flyover, and now these canals, these backwater areas, these hydrilla beds that are small, there's a drop pin on it, and all you have to do is screenshot it, and now you've got guys who have spent 15, 20, 25 years figuring out where these areas are, and now people can go right to them, and catch fish off these areas that had previously been protected throughout the history of professional bass fishing and technology is now exposing them to the masses. At the same time, everything that has been protected forever has been blown up. I mean, literally, people wouldn't tell you the right bait they're using. You never saw the way they worked a bait. You never saw all of that stuff. So I just think it's an advancement of the sport. And I get it. You know, it sucks that you found this spot and you've had it for your entire life. But you can keep it. You can totally keep that spot. I have tons of buddies who have areas that they have fished year after year after year, and nobody knows those areas. But none of those buddies fish on the Bassmaster Elite Series or the Bass Pro Tour or any top level. In my opinion, when you enter a tournament, when you decide to represent a company, it's all about exposure. Get as much exposure as you can get, and then ultimately you sell your information. So is it difficult for some anglers? I get that. Yeah, this part of it is an advancement of the sport that sucks. Those same anglers thought it sucked when we started telling the truth about their lures. Those same anglers thought it sucked when we started showing that not every cast goes totally under the dock. Sometimes they actually hit a pile in once or twice. It's part of the advancement of the sport. And if you ask me, they sold their spot. I totally disagree with this because you're talking about lying. Oh, they can't lie anymore because now Bass Live has them on with lures and techniques and what they're doing. It's a black and white. They were saying in the past, hey, I caught it on this, but now the camera is showing they caught it on something different. I think that's great. The transparency with that, that's what a lot of these anglers are being compensated for, is to show what they're catching and how they're catching. The difference is where they're catching. Locations, spots, historically areas, that is found with hard work. And a lot of areas and where they're fishing has been highlighted by Bass and the recent implementation of the no information rule once the schedule is released. If these spots weren't sacred, if it didn't matter where they're fishing, every, why would you have the no information rules a, a year out? The thing is, the talent, the skill to find these areas on your own, to rely on your history. Now you have the veterans coming in where the rookies have to earn their stripes to get their locations. And if I'm a first-year Elite Series angler, it's a public information that I can go back and say, well, seven, eight, nine pounders were caught in this canal, this canal, and this canal. That didn't take any skill for me. That was just me going back and looking at what is currently available. If I go out and happen to find those areas, wouldn't seem very fair to me if the next year, the incoming class was all there just because it was out. And well, I'm a professional angler now, and that's just part of the game. I think general areas are the way to do it. Have a halo around them. You know, when you lose your iPhone, it says it's somewhere in this vicinity but not exact locations where stuff that's been kept and is family and generational is now gone because of a little bitty dot that got put on it. I, 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 I disagree. I mean, I get the frustration with it, but again, you're fishing at a top level. I mean, we're talking about a sport and it's one of the oddities about pro fishing that you want to keep everything secret. You don't want to tell people. I mean, a few years ago, we literally had anglers covering up their lure 
while they were competing so that the camera couldn't see it. That's how important and how much we have to pay people. No joke. There is a Bass Track bonus every single week. I believe Austin Felix won the last one. It's a Bass Track bonus that literally for $1,000 in every tournament, just by being telling the truth, by being as close as possible, you get a $1,000 bonus. But you're not lying with, the, with giving up your spot. There's nothing, you're not, you're, there's no gray zone on it. It's, you caught it here, you didn't catch it there. You're, you keep bringing up things that are black and white. Like you keep bringing up, oh, they have to be honest. You're not being dishonest by not telling people where exactly you're fishing. All right. All right. I'm, I'm conflicted here because I do kind of agree with you. I do think we don't need to be like right on, but, but, uh, but I also feel like it, everything you've, that has tried to happen in the sport of fishing over the last five to 10 years, you know, they've, anglers fight every bit of that coming out. They don't want that out there. Um, is this too far? I, I don't know. It was People were getting this information before Panger. It's just safer now. Because before you saw it, you were out on the road when that was happening, when somebody would have a hundred boats following them. Mm -hmm. They're not getting those big flotillas as much anymore because people sit at home and watch it on live. Does it have to be exact? Uh, maybe not. But I mean, people like it better that way because then we'd be arguing, is Bass Track giving false information? They're not telling you that he's got a canal. It's, it's in this big orb area. Where exactly is it? And how do you know Bass Track? He's telling you exactly where they're fishing, Matt Pengrack. That's a very good point. But <laughs> as an angler, as someone who respects what these anglers on the Elite Series are doing, exact locations for Bass Track, I'm calling that. Well, I, I mean, I'm going to get hammered for this, but that's kind of part of this show. I am keeping it. As much advancement as we can. I love the fact that I don't have to wait three months for a magazine to come out to learn all these things. And some stuff gets out there and gets exposed. I get it. It sucks. But if you're a pro angler, you sold it. So I am keeping it. doesn't matter what me and that guy think. Let us know what you think. Keep or call exact Bass Track locations.